Good morning, bon dia. Today we are going to take a tour of the favelas. Right now I'm in an area called Vigigal. So we're gonna be going up and checking out the favelas. <laughs> oh. No problem. Oh. <laughs> We have various projects. This park here is one of them that we have. So we have the ecological park, right? That is funded essentially by us because there's no governmental program here. And that's what he was asking me, if there's a governmental program. None. Same thing with our Children's Day, right? So when you come and do a tour with us, my partner and I, Jigon, and our local community, you're giving back. You're doing something more than just going into a favela putting money into that person's pocket and insisting that you're making an impact when in reality you're not. So our tour, we truly believe, has an impact. We have various donations, we have various funders, various people in our projects. Our event that we're going to have next month for Children's Day is going to have 5,000 plus children, up to 6,000 kids this age, which prevent kids from entering drug trafficking, entering the wrong type of life, criminality. It's very important. You know? so just for you to have an idea that when you go into a place of poverty, for Velator or something like this, you really should ask, what do you do for your community? Do you give back? Do you have a program? Do you, re you, know, do you redistribute something, like food rations, anything? If they don't, then why are you doing this tour? Right? You're helping one local out in a place that needs a lot more than that. So I like to believe we have an obligation to try to give as much as we possibly can. Right. And it's not always easy. You know, that's called the lobster claw. You the lobster the very claw? Bottom, the very bottom one? Yeah. It, the lobster claw peeking out? It does look like a lobster claw. And so, uh, uh, when it's, 
this this is a beautiful tree. This will grow all and have various. They have some in the whole place. Yeah, we we have. I mean, you have these plants that cost like hundred, you know, many euros or dollars. Yeah. You know, and here they just grow in. But uh, but we live in Guadeloupe and in Guadeloupe too it's growing like wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you have you live in yeah. so you'll know yeah. it's like yeah, same thing. That's what I like in Europe and US. You have to yeah. buy this. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> Don't squeeze them, okay? No, they don't. They are very nice. No, but sometimes they can. And then if you want to push, just put your hand like this. Okay? <laughs> Are you going to fly away? <laughs> oh, wow. There you go. Okay? And then let, it, let your brother he come? come back here. I don't. Here, come back here so he can come. <laughs> <laughs> they call New York City, you know, like the concrete jungle, right? Yeah. This is actually, the favela is a concrete jungle. So having something like this is, is amazing. Look at these two guys mating, it looks like. Two Ooh. little bugs, right here on the leaf, the two little bugs. Oh, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it is. <laughs> See the little two bugs right here? The Regarde, va voir l'animal. On the other side, they can't do nothing. That's amazing. This used to be a trash dump, and this was a garbage pit. Ten thousand yeah. plus pounds of garbage. Cool. You know, and now it's an oasis mm -hmm. for people to come and read a book, to have a palestra, like to sit and have a conversation. Yeah. You know, to get away from your daily life and struggles. Mm. It's, it's great. We've also ruined some teenagers, like you know, first kiss kind of situation. Yeah. It's like trying to get down over here, and you know, you screw it up. Yeah. We've done that a few times as well. <laughs> What we're having that's going on is is a gentrification. You see this massive yellow building there with yeah. the blue railings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's an Airbnb. Yeah? And so seven seven you see this yellow you see that yellow building there with the blue mm -hmm. right there that's the airbnb that's being built i was i was asking diga if um, no one uh, started to do the airbnb there business in the over favela 100 Airbnbs already and it's ruining the favela ruining of course but why but but uh you think the, the tourists are, are, are coming uh, and, and people are, are starting to see that, um, that uh, it is a good business to open, to buy houses and open, uh, uh, open Airbnbs instead of uh, renting them to... Uh, why would they want to rent to... Why, what, what, this, I understand Everywhere that. in the world, Airbnb has essentially capitalized <laughs> on the fact that human beings are greedy. And that they don't want to rent because they can say, ah, in two weeks I can rent my place out or one week and make what I made in one month or two months. I understand right? that. And, and I'm just going to tell you this because I, yeah. I own a a business a business <laughs> that, that basically manages Airbnbs in Porto. I work for Airbnb, so. So yeah. that's good. No, but <laughs> what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is that one thing is when you have a house that actually was you know, rent it to someone for people to live uh -huh. and you turn it into an Airbnb. Yeah. Another thing is if you build a specific house with just kind of Airbnb uh, 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 more related kind of structure, Most you know? Most of the time, Airbnbs that are built are not built from empty properties. Most of the time, they're in fact taken over old properties, old properties and of someone that had lived there, even if they had passed, but that takes away from the next generation that has the that should have the right to enter in that location they that. do not not have that anymore so whether or not that person that was 90 years old has now passed mm. and that apartment was outdated you take away the possibility of the new generation to purchase a place True. and i'll give you one example rio de janeiro not like i like airbnb it gives me clients i work for it i also have a rental mm -hmm. and also two rentals but here's the thing when we unconsciously let it run rampant. Uh -huh. 35,000 Airbnbs here with a 44% occupancy rate uh -huh. between 14 neighborhoods. Uh -huh. There is then 29 neighborhoods in total in the north and west 
And between that, there are 4,800 apartments and houses for rent for locals, monthly rentals. That is crazy, uh, a statistic that's very, very unequal. There needs to be a cap. And so in the favela, for example, that building was a house that existed and it needed to just be updated. Okay. And it should have been purchased by someone or rented by someone. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the person that sold it, sold it for five times the price, right? And then everyone in the neighborhood saw that and said, well, why are we going to rent? We can just sell. True. So they sell for five times the rate like this. And the person who lives here can't even afford to buy or to rent. And then we have, in a matter of two and a half years, 125 Airbnbs existing in a place where housing is already very dire and very difficult. In most uh, places, this would be like prime property. Right. They're probably going to be right. like mansions and stuff up here. Right. <laughs> and, but, so, but this is the thing in the favela and in Brazil, what many people don't understand is that Brazil doesn't have prime real estate yeah. sufficient for both without the population that is its labor force mm -hmm. to live close enough for them to go back and forth to work. Yeah. If you pay attention to the geography here in the city, there's no planes. Mm -hmm. There's no place for you to build a project yeah. close enough for them to still get to work. So what they do is they say, what's more valuable, the beaches or the mountains? Mm -hmm. And 95% of the time it's the beaches. The beach right, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Beach, I mean beach fund property, baby. Yeah. Yeah. So they have no option but to allow an unregulated growth in the favelas, in the favelas. right? Which is not good, right? Yeah. It's not good for anything. But they can't even <laughs> control it right now. They can't no, even they're, it they're right trying now. to. There was they're a time to. when they could, they could have tried to now stop it's it, so hard. but it was too yes, hard, yes, and now yes. it's not even in, in consideration. Yeah. Right? No, they are trying actually. This it's ironic. This so they stopped trying to control for like maybe seven years okay. the last two years over 9,000 irregular buildings in favelas have been destroyed that's crazy because but, but the, by the by the by the by, state, the government, by the government by the state government so we are talking like nine years right no seven eight years of no action okay. like unchecked growth everywhere even Vigigal grew Hacinha this Cantagalo uh, Pavonzinho on the uh -huh. other side here this uh -huh. one it grew almost to the mountain's edge, man. Like, it yeah. was not but, like but that. But why do you think is that? Why do you think that, uh, like, the, the past two years they decided to take some action? Political. Because Political. the mayor is a big time, uh, he, he wants to, he wants to, like, ensure he's not like, he's like a centrist, right? So he don't want to be hard line, okay. but he don't want to be no line, you know? So he's like, I will not destroy anything that is irregular in the last several years, but if you start to build, especially over three stories okay. which truly is a risk because today you're gonna i'm gonna show you some architect and engineering yes that you can see a five or seven story building and i can promise you it's not even your height like the foundation <laughs> you, your head is still sticking and you're like that's a four-story building with and the foundation is just like it's not it's one, not one even half, taller yeah, than yeah, one one, one meter, meter you know <laughs> one and a half meter yeah literally one like that's crazy so that is why they are doing this because they're only doing two big buildings. Oh, I'm going to show you one today. 11 stories. 11 stories in the favela. <laughs> that they, their government is now destroying. What's that? The, are you tapping for cable? Uh, I mean, it's, no, it's all uh, stolen. Stolen, right? <laughs> like, please come across. Let's use that word hella lightly. Because I wouldn't say poor people steal an electric, right? Yeah. A lot of it's for necessity. Right? Yeah. You people steal. You people steal. <laughs> yeah, she has a bathroom. Yeah, I go to the bathroom.
I need to get it a little bit bigger so that I can. Uh, no, you don't. Know. Uh, 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 but I, I want the Korea, the Korea um, cut. The Korea cut. Uh, <laughs> Kochi Korea. Mesmo que no Brasil é lei, transporte é de graça para todas as crianças. Mas na favela tu tem que pagar porque o governo não vai aceitar isso. Então, mesmo que é lei, lei no Brasil, todas as crianças têm o direito de chegar na escola de graça. Só que assim, ó, oh, eles falam, tem escola que não morre, ai, fodido, ferrado. Lá dentro da vela. Você já fica então dentro, dentro da comunidade. Correto. Só so, saying, it's the right for every single child to have transportation to their school. Yeah. However, the government says, well, you have a school here in the favela. Mm -hmm. Underfunded, destroyed, with nothing good. Yeah. So you you can go there. And that's that. And even so, they don't guarantee your transportation from the top to the bottom. Cool. Imagine a child walking in this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's scary, yeah, right? Is. So this is something that's unacceptable. It's the law in Brazil to have this as a guarantee. Except if you live in a favela. Eight hundred favelas, right? Mm -hmm. One point four million people, and about two hundred and fifty thousand children mm -hmm. don't have that right wow. to get to their schools, or at least a good school. And they are constantly in danger. So essentially, you have to pay to play. Is Correct. What they're saying. Or to go to school, yeah, and, yeah. or at least a decent one. Yeah. And the worst part is, is, Brazil has a very high rate of children dying, mm -hmm. like child deaths. So, so many kids that do die because of interactions and operations between police and drug dealers, what does happen, unfortunately, is the kids that are on the streets occasionally fall victim to this. Yeah. And it's in just this year, um, more than one dozen children have unfortunately died due to police actions and violence. Not always the case that it was a child going to school, right? But there are cases where that is present and it has happened. Yeah. Guys, I'm selling this. 50 reais. 50 reais. Aí, aí. 50 reais. Quer comprar? 50 reais aqui. Tá bom. Tá novo. And nobody's gonna take this. Nobody. Because, no, the trash. 
because the governor, the mayor, the state needs a, a bulldozer to take that. They can't take with shovels. Yeah. You know, with pa, no that. So they have to take by uh, for months, and, and so that's the problem. They don't tell. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuidado. Yeah. Yeah. Olá, olá. Oh, Campinho. É você que é o craque do. Não, <laughs> If they do that, it's no problem. If they were to steal it, you sell one of them. 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 You sell one of Ali do lado direito aqui da rua. Os macacos? É que é o sinal de ontem? Eu acho que sim, ele falou que é outro. House, right? That, that one is only house. That's seven stories. Oh, it is? Yes. I, I thought it was only ah, the top. Seven ah. stories. This is 11. There are others. They're all over. This shit here is crazy to have, you know? Like, think about what. First of all, think about the the aspect of being like you know wanting to come into a place that's poor right mm. so you spend thousand dollars or two thousand dollars right in a week or something or not here of, a night would be let's giving. forget about the night mm -hmm. do you think any of that goes back into the community it should not even that but it should but it doesn't I understand right. that, and, 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 and when that happens, and the, when, that's wrong. When that happens, that is wrong, right? Because because you should you should understand that you are taking advantage of a of a, a community and of a spot that is like. Right, but human beings are not. Yeah. That's a, we're naturally greedy. We're naturally was originally built by two French. Okay. okay. So they were gonna build this, okay? And they were gonna have this Airbnb before it existed, before Airbnb. Okay. 2013, well, during, but it was the original time. Okay. Yeah, okay, so short-term short, short, yeah, short rentals. Yeah, short-term rentals. Yeah. And so they built this, but the war came okay. in 2015, 16, and so much shootouts and violence. So they all, they never finished the construction, and the French people left. So and the war lost between, one half a million well, euros. So it's between million. the government. But, 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 but be, was, was it, it, was it one, occupied by one half right million, now? So it, 500,000 euros. Yeah. So, so, so the war is between the government and the drug dealers? Drug dealers correct. And How long actually, did it last? No. So the war that happened in this time yeah. was because CV was um, taken out by another drug faction. Okay. And so it was six days of chaos. 
and then yeah. it was a six and a half, seven months of constant violence On between the state, okay. between the state and the old faction. And Maybe it's a um, euros. Euros. Euro. Five hundred thousand euros. Okay. Now, to what extent? Why did they spend so much money? Okay. <laughs> Não, mas é tudo do mesmo. Nesse dia. Não, mas é isso, mas é ponto de passagem. Ou seja, para a polícia é, chegar aqui, tinha que passar ali ou tinha que passar ali. This is the, the, the place where they build the unauthorized houses and they are demolishing a lot of them. What I was sold when you said oxtail. <laughs> O ruim é descobrir o que tem nono no pobre. Ele vai voltar falando assim. A carne assada aí. Você quer pimenta? 